Well, since we have confirmed which map it's going to be, we're going to move back over to our drafter mm -hmm. to watch and see what unfolds. This is a best of three series, as you can see on top. It was mentioned several times at this point. Game on Sanctum Falls. Do you think we'll see an Amani ban currently hovering? <laughs> right as I say Ooh, it. I think they will. Yeah, Nightmarish not wanting to play. Uh, not wanting to have that Amani on either side, just opting out of that. They say, nope, we do not want to deal with that possibility. And the banning of Sven potentially here. Interesting. I agree with that. Yeah, Sven, uh, Sven having the high power of being a good healer, also with access to the jump pad, as you mentioned in the last uh, series. And it is confirmed. Those are both locked in. Now Nightmarish is first pick. So Sven, I feel like gimmick, Sven off the table. Sven off the table, that's huge for them. Uh, it makes me think they might be planning on maybe going Voden instead now, if they were planning on having a Sven. Just to keep the jump pad open for them. Yeah. But as well, they've banned a Mami, so that's half of like the oppressive range on this map off the table. Well, we all, I also I agree, but I also want to say Nightmarish, the, the game that we just watched a couple minutes ago, they actually didn't have a support on their team comp. So true. it's possible that they just don't mind, you know, if if they end up choosing a vote and like you said, I mean, I can see that they did hover it once and then they ended up not picking it in the end. But we'll see. Uh, Nightmarish, I mean, honestly, there, there are plenty of, of picks that could go here. Uh, they seemed to like the Margrave, you know, team out of course is open. Uh, Nightmarish banned Beckett, I believe. Did, no. What? It was a, uh, it was Beckett on the last game that the enemy team mm -hmm. banned. Yeah. So yeah. maybe perhaps, maybe perhaps they know and Nightmarish have a good Beckett player if they've done a little research. I don't know. You know, that's the uh, thing. This team got put together this morning, <laughs> so it was very rushed, uh, as far as I know. But you know, there's the thing. I think gimmick. Is either gonna have a Kai or a Ramsey. They're going Beckett. Oh. Beckett hover and oh, locked in. I'm locked in. First pick. Alright, watch. There's gonna be a Kai or Ramsey on this team. I know it. Yeah. So Beckett is all around very, very good. Uh she mm -hmm. provides just tons of damage. She's got both AoE and single target potential with the grenade, with the airstrike focus. She builds focus super, super fast. She's actually one of two characters with the refocus uh, upgrade, which is one of the it's one of the focus upgrades where it, you build focus faster and then after you use focus you build focus even faster it's just like it's ridiculous how much <laughs> how fast you can get those airstrikes if you're landing everything um and because she's got that jetpack she's super hard to pin down you know she uses that properly defensively i mean i honestly think in in, in my opinion and in my experience i actually think beckett is one of the hardest characters to counter in this game i actually have to agree with you on that one yeah she's just she's just so well-rounded it has everything that she needs by herself and then if she gets if she gets even unlocked further by her team like she's basically unstoppable she's charnock Char oh my god yeah the charnock hover good aoe potential works very well into like kind of pressuring uh c point if you plan on fighting in c also transitions well into clash uh because Again, those fights in the hallway. Basically, the, the hot hail covers the entirety of those narrow passageways, even if it isn't upgraded to the larger AOE. It is a... I don't mind this. This is this is a good idea. Uh, not yet locked in, not confirmed. Switching over team to Team Matt now. Oh, good choice. I mean, honestly, same thing that I basically said applies to her. Um, mm -hmm. Just the AOE rockets, the shock from the, the, shock from the E very good escape i mean when you put when you put the aoe potential uh the damage off of your just consistent poke and the same escape that beckett has i mean why wouldn't you pick her right team at is ba mm. team at is basically charnock and beckett put together and better. i'm the charnock oh we're gonna pick both locking ah. in both possible range it is hallway and locked in hallway is gonna be awful for nightmarish yeah nightmarish, I know it. nightmarish need to have something up their sleeve and we've seen nightmarish kind of hover over these two assassins they really seem to like the woo and trip working together 
That's a, that is a possibility. But I can't imagine maybe perhaps they would not um, lock in like a frontliner here. I would think the I Margrave. Like you kind of have to. Yeah. Cover the Margrave, maybe a Paco. And I mean, what would be the secondary? Probably the Wu. The Wu, or I would say maybe, I, I, would, I would still go with the Margrave. I feel like he's kind of crucial. Yeah. No, I think Margrave is definitely 100% like the pick here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking more of the secondary. Because remember, you'd have to pick mm. two here. I would say Paco? Yeah. Margrave and Paco, both of them? Yeah, 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 100%. Ooh, okay, that's a little spicy. But I'm, I'm here for it. I can kind of see it. One of my favorite comps to run. I love running a, a, a Paco, a Gravy, a Zandi, an Ashlyn. And then I, I have one ranged. I, I just love running that. It's actually uh, interesting that you bring up Ashlyn. We haven't seen her at all yet. Very true. It's, uh, we had, like, not even, not even hovered or banned. We haven't seen Ashlyn at all. Okay, there's the sleeping on her a little bit. Maybe these yeah, two teams is. are. We know Illusion and uh, and maybe Core probably mm -hmm. play Ashlyn. A bit more, yeah. But we'll see. Maybe maybe they're hiding stuff. There's still plenty of time to uh, there's still plenty of time to test some things. You know, this is only the first game, but it is uh, both of these teams. You know, losing set. Whoever loses this set is completely out of the tournament. So they need to be on their A game. On a Ramsey, oh. Okay, Ramsey was not something I considered actually, but it works. I thought the Ramsey would have been on gimmick because they know some Ramsey players on that team. I mean, still, still possible. You know, again, not a, not locked Margrave. only one hero per team. Margrave hover, works very well, kind of locking down that space to, uh, you know, synergize with three ranged right now. What is this? I think they're going for like I think gimmick is really going for the you know where they lock that in. I, oh my god. They do. I think the gimmick gimmick right now is just locking down with the Margrave and then just AoE burst. You know, multi target rockets, maybe a uh, meteor, and then slapping on some cards and the uh the cosmic power to do just a ton of burst damage all at once. And as well, they've got rid of the Sven, so that makes it their jobs twice as easy now. They don't have the possibility of that debuff immunity. They don't have the jump pad. Yeah. Or the anything like that. Yeah, having having the debuff immunity would be actually super huge right now. I think mm -hmm. I think if nightmares are comfortable with of uh, an Ashlyn could be very good. And you know, you might you might disagree with what I'm about to say. I think there's potential for a Vadasi here. Nope. <laughs> he immediately said nope. <laughs> you don't like Vadasi. I'm very curious why you don't like Vadasi. Such a stupid character. <laughs> so stupid. 250 HP a second. Are you joking? I mean, are you are you saying no just because you don't want to see her or because you don't like her? Or both? Both. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I think Ashlyn is... Uh, not Ashlyn. Vadasi is one of the most boring characters to watch and one of the most boring characters to fight against because it's... Either I have poison and I have crack armor and I win, or I don't have any of that. I try and attack her and she just runs away or she heals. All right, so you uh, lose. So um, I I agree. That's very fair. Uh, a Mozu and a Vadasi hovering. Oh no! Yes, I'm thank so you. Sad. Yes. <laughs> was, <laughs> they teased you with that I, one. I was so happy, and then nope, they said no. <laughs> You know what? I bet Banjax was tricking me. I bet they didn't actually do that. I bet that was him <laughs> just getting my hopes up. Um. But yeah, Mozu is actually I really smart see, here. Yeah. Mozu is very, very smart here. Yeah, 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 100%. Oh, Banjax, stop it. Hey, it's, stop it's, it. it's Banjax, 100%. There is no way Gimmick is picking Vadasi here. Oh, wait, no, they actually are. Are I'm they? I'm looking at the spreadsheet. They're hovering it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't do it, bro. I know I know the captain of that team. Why, on, why on Gimmick's side, though? <laughs> wait, no, they're not. Hold on. The woo. Okay, bro, give me a Ramsey, please. Oh my God, they're okay. Weird. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. I was, I was thinking like, there's no possible way that they're hovering Vadasi. It offers no benefit to the team right now. For real, like, bro. I mean, I guess if, I guess if she stays way in the back and around the corner, then the three ranged are basically going to be at full health all the time. But Ramsey and and Trip make that really difficult to pull off Vadasi. Here we see. Currently, we have. Nightmares, Laren side, Gimmick, uh, uh, Gren side. 
And right now, uh... They're already taking B. They're making a right move here, going for B. Yeah. One team's 20 up over the other. Which team's Grin? Is that Gimmick? Yeah, it's Gimmick, yep. Gimmick, okay. Um, Gimmick made a good move there. They, they rotated early, and now it's going to come down to... Oh, they're going A? Oh, they're going oh, all the way they're in. Just go, they're just going to go... The yeah, that is... <laughs> The full, the, opposite the full team base wipe as Nightmarish has <laughs> Nightmarish is uh, trying to go over and grab C before they can, but now they're going to be on the back end and they're going to have to go all the way through Gimmick's team if they need to escape here. Margrave here alone right now, but his team's here finally. Back at super low There's immediately Tiger. out of the Beckett's fight. Super low, might get shot out of the air. The missiles from team up might get her. Not quite. Oh, S kills the or he kills the Ramsey, and that is 10, uh, 100 to eighty for gimmick. So a nice little recovery from Nightmarish being behind by twenty, and somehow still ended up getting only twenty uh, with mm -hmm. th with three of their creatures getting killed somewhere along the way. This is a uh, this is a little insane. Right now, Nightmarish don't have an A or B point, and they have to defend this wound. Which gimmick is going for? Margrave is in, playing a little more of the defensive side here, trying to do a little bit of damage to them. I don't think they're actually going to commit to this. Only five seconds left, and still about half. And now they're just gonna they're just gonna opt to stay away, take the fact that they got the push. They need to go back and resummon C. <laughs> Nightmares find a kill at the on the start way out. Of the game, that was a good decision by them to hard rush onto the points and just keep going. Like, just maintain their oh, lead no. is what they need to do. Oh, he missed! Oh, he clipped himself! He missed! No! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no! So now... And now they're going to be 30 up. Oh, yep. no. So now Nightmares have control of the C point. But look, they haven't respawned A. And A power is coming up. I wonder if Gimmick will notice and go for the back cap here. I think they will. I think they're we might. Okay, no, no chip. But the trip is going? No, Chip's going back to summon again. That's very smart. Oh, okay. Wrong team. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. She's, Thank God they she's that. got it. But that means that she's Lucky not Tiger, in this fight right now. Both Margraves are low. Oh, Lucky Tiger goes down. The Margrave's just sitting there. Yeah, and... They didn't have the back out. Yeah, Nightmare summoned the point there on C, but they actually didn't have the ability to hold it, it seems. You know, Gimmick just... They've tied it up. Yeah, Gimmick regrouped and just got to kill their... Slightly behind now, but they have the ones that have control of C again, which means it's much easier for them to engage and attack here. Look at them going for this creature. And they're stalling this creature so well. Can they interrupt it again? They, they can, and they've turned a 30 power deficit into a 10 power lead. Yeah. Incredible. All right, another kill here, finding three kills. Charnock focus is huge and actually knocks what a out someone. Nightmarish losing this push despite being ahead. Like you said, they found these random kills and this Beckett cannot answer. It didn't really matter if she died or not, but good on her to survive and keep her KDA high. Uh, but this will be an auto wound and Gimmick are just happy to sit back and go all the way back. If I control a C, they've resummoned another obelisk. Are they upgrading? Okay, no. <laughs> I thought they were upgrading the obelisk for a second. Bro, I swear. Absolutely not. And Gimmick finding kills in their, you know, in Nightmarish's own base. And Nightmarish just can't find footing here. Gimmick's coordination is definitely above what uh, Nightmarish is doing, which, which is... With, with the comp they're running, like, being able to just lock down targets and keep getting them low is what is what you want. Yep, and Gimmick once again moving in. The Margrave going in with the focus Mar combination. Focus, the, oh, mostly just TPs out, but they're going on the Margrave now. She's um, super, super low, but she's safe, is technically. Is that the trip? Oh, it's Ruse. Yeah. Team at focus coming out, and they're 20 power up. Amazing. And 30 power up as they get the Ramsey. Yep. It's just the constant pressure of Gimmick and Nightmarish. Again, they, they can't even hold their own base. They're constantly forced to retreat. And even if they do find some low health on Gimmick's side, they can't chase. That wall, if they go through that wall and get stuck on the close side, like on the on the river side, they have to go all the way around. That's why mm -hmm. that wall is so incredibly powerful. And as well, even if they have to go all the way around, uh, Gimmick have ways of chasing them so easy. They've got the long range from Tiamat, the slows from Oru, and the Wu's mobility, so it's really hard for them to escape with that wall there. Yeah. 
This is a oh, there's a trip over here on on Nightmare side trip going for the back cap here. F. A, what is this? A little bit late, honestly, but she probably will get this. I think she dies. And she's struggling just a little bit. I think she dies. Oh no, are we gonna watch her die on stream? <gasps> no. Oh. oh, that was close. A little bit of a. Maybe a little bit of a desync happening right now. Maybe a little bit of a lag that was should not have been that close. But uh, I mean, you know, good job. <laughs> but it, it's a it's a little off or not when you don't get the push. It is 90 here, and they find a kill. Actually, they get 100 for the I think defense. They got the 100 there. Yeah, they got the defense just in time. I don't think they're gonna go for it though. I think their their, their priority now is just making sure that they can get um they can maintain C. Oh, definitely not. The ore is low. Here. All the ore is poisoned. Ori goes down. Team map might not have escape. Team map probably goes down here as well. She does. Lucky Tiger gets there too late. It's unfortunately, actually, they have to try and defend C. It's actually quite big. It's only Margrave and and uh, Charnock right Focus kills right the now. Ramsey. It's interesting, Charnock focus not quite hitting anybody. Maybe Rev's just for zoning potential, but look, Margrave needing to go all the way around. He'll probably escape. Margrave doesn't have stamina. Oh, he's actually choosing oh, he's to stay. Okay, no, he's leaving. Uh, Ruse has to back out there. Oh, Ruse is staying in the fight, Ruse. Thank you. <laughs> he's uh, he's he's playing with his food, really. Misses the tongue, but still had some other cooldowns. And uh, Gimmick find just one kill, actually. Just... Uh, because all those kills happen during the rampage, so they don't really count. Can it find the return kill and keep control of C? I, th I was about to give Nightmares some praises for having, you know, the ability to recontrol that, but they lost that return fight. Just Margrave and Charnock were enough to keep control of C. Just uh, AoE is coming in handy from Gimmick, as you said. Yep. Oh, but the D push, interesting, but actually a smart move by Gimmick here. Make sure they can get a 20 party to be a full rotation ahead. Yep, they the do have to get out. Down, though. The team does escape for out. now. Nice focus from the Mozu to confirm that. And now they Nightmare need to get out of there. Up. That going to be 20 par up if they kill this Charnock. Charnock's crippled. All oh, the trip can't chase. I think it'll be even if he gets it, but she might be out of stamina now. He's yeah. in range of the bloomer and definitely not wanting to get that. Nightmares lost their 10 power lead because I don't, I don't think a creature summoned for them or maybe they lost some kills but now it's a 20 power up for gimmick or he might go down here though if he can push them. maybe he has push cards so he can push them into the water gimmick needs to stay alive here he stays alive and he's still alive and he's dead <laughs> <laughs> he jumps in says I got the push I did what I needed to do that's that's funny but yeah once again, another Charles push for gimmick down. here. Margrave goes down, and that team out is doing some work here. Getting the double there, yeah, huge for for the amount of damage that is coming through. Going for another uh, wall here. Trip, not really the best fight you want to take. She needs to get out of there now. She's got Wu on her tail. There is a two level difference between these teams. Which is which is kind of bad for G gimmick is level eight and nine and uh nightmares is level seven and eight so they really have to try i think they need to go for creatures here to try and get some levels yeah they need to do something maybe perhaps even upgrade to get that upgrade experience but a fight happening here on the orion stairs Nightmares utilizing lots of different angles. Nightmares is gonna go down. The Margrave is about to go down. Lucky Tiger definitely has something up his sleeve. Oh, he's so far, he's but he gets oh. him. Lucky Tiger might go down to Beckett. Actually, no, they're distracted. Yep, they're super Can distracted. Up? Super, super no, low Oru, but he gets out the of there. Goes down and Oru lives. Oh my goodness. They cannot commit to these kills. They trilogy, yep. 40 par difference, and I don't think the Margrave went down. He got the C. Damn, they've double summoned, though. They have double I think summoned. They should go E here. Yeah, they are. And, uh. I mean, really, Gimmick just has control of the map here. So. They really can just sit back, you know? If either C or D capture, they get the push because the B will give them 80. And then they really just have to defend one. Even if even if one side falls, it doesn't matter. They can't split push this. They're already losing fights 5v5. They can't win, like, in groups of three and two or whatever the split may be. And yeah, Gimmick's just more than happy to sit back and wait. Got a little bit of, a little bit of teasing from the Margrave here, but he's got his tools to get out. Ruse also poking. 
Now, Mersh is going to have to get a split push here when it comes to interrupt because they can't just interrupt one. The other one will just collect. Yeah. But Gimmick is just keeping them locked down on their own base. Nightmares can't do anything right now. This will be another push. All five pushes going to Gimmick. I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought this was going to be the, gonna go to Nightmarish, but no. This might be a... This might come down to the clash here. Maybe Nightmares are banking on having maybe perhaps something... Maybe perhaps they have something uh, planned for the clash, but right now Gimmick is just ahead of them at every turn. Mm -hmm. Gimmick has full control of this game, not losing any amount of health on their Guardian right now. Gimmick is getting kind of the mark of his half, half HP. He's going to get out. The creature is low on D. Gimmick's creature, two of them are low. Nightmares do find a kill on the creature, and some are low the over here. Going for Lucky Tiger. Is she doing it? Oh my goodness. No, she... He doesn't know! They just had... They didn't know they were there! <laughs> they didn't see her! Oh, but Bruce oh, finally no. spots her. She's going for this fight. Nope, she's got her stealth to get out of there. She that was... Disappeared. Oh, she went up that way. Jesus. How in the world? Alright. She looks like she's out with a sneaky Margrave. And a pull on, to, on the, this Ramsey right now. A little fight happening here. Ramsey on the back foot getting focused by Ruse. He's super low. Roosh just needs to get the jump up there. He doesn't make it, and but the poison. Dead. It's tied. The poison got him. Oh, no, it was a burn. Oh, it was, it was burn. Team Ed's oh, burn God. from a rocket. I thought it was poison tongue. They went double uh, burn duration, which honestly is the better upgrade. Which um, I've seen a lot of people going the, the left path ones, and now you got to go the right. The four second burn? Crazy. Lucky Tiger's low here. He has to back out. Yep. And they just can't advance the amount of pressure that is being provided. Both Margraves are low. Neither team has a brain offensive here. That Ramsey's trying to play more of a side sort of assassin kind of play. I don't think it's going to work, though. I don't think so either, especially when they're already super behind. Ramsey mm, kind of works that better. Is low. Ramsey kind of works better as this duelist, in my honest opinion. But he can, mm -hmm. he can find kills here and there. I've seen it happen. Um, but, I mean... Man. Look at the difference in assists from each team. They, they, you can see that uh, Gimmick is working together way better. They're always there to uh, help each other out and yeah. help with the kills. Which I honestly think was the Nightmarish's problem. They were too separated. They weren't playing together enough. Yep. And they're they're doing some damage to this Margrave yet again. But they need to confirm it. They find down. it. Nightmarish at 90. They need to do something here. And D collects. So they end up getting the 100. <laughs> oh my gosh. My 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 throat is working against me right now and making me cough. So I need a sip of water. <laughs> they get a hundred shield though, Nightmarish uh able to at least get a good defense, so Gimmick can't fully commit to this wound. Uh and they're just gonna kinda hold a C if they can. Which is very smart. You know? There's no creature on C right now, but they don't need to resummon just yet. They just need to have the ability to hold this. And they're just gonna they're just gonna destroy the the B point instead. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, not quite yet. They're saving it. That's super easy just to run back in and kill it. Run back in and get that kill, yep. Oh, the big fight happening That's... over there. Let's see what's going on over there. Wolfstar is low. Not quite finding the kills, but is forcing them to back up. I don't know if they can summon yet. Actually, they're in good point to summon here. But they lose their Margrave. Gimmick finding a, a power here. This would have been a good time to summon. A little bit late on this, but maybe they could still use it to their advantage. But now Gimmick is 20 ahead. And the first power rotation hasn't even captured yet. We're finally getting it. A difficult match for them to play into. Gimmick just needs to Gimmick needs to keep doing what they're doing, and I think Nightmarish need to start playing more as a team. They're not going in as a unit, so they're falling short on all of these engages. The creature goes down. Gimmick also find a kill on Margrave. Now ten ahead, thirty. Sorry, twenty oh, ahead, thirty, 30 ahead. ahead. S is low, but you see, nobody is all any. People are hardly there to get S. Look, the trip misses uh, Unseen Strike. She's trying so hard to find a kill. Uh, she got she got the Ori to be fair, but can she get out with that team at constantly shooting? I mm, It's close. gonna I think be she can. close, but still ahead. They found a trade on the other side. Upstairs, the fight's still happening right now. Big fights. 
Ramsey trying to make something happen here. The Margrave is on his <laughs> Margrave is on his Beckett, I think that is back there. And just Lucky Tiger is yeah. see Lucky Tiger is not taking nearly as much damage as like Marish's Margrave is, which it which is interesting to see. I think that Marish's target priority might not be what it what it needs to be right now. Yeah, and there's just not it doesn't seem like there's just enough damage at all coming from Nightmarish's mm -hmm. side. You know, they have the Beckett, they have the Mosey, the potential is there, but Gimmick are just playing so well together and just getting away every time. You know, like I'm you said, they're impressed. covering themselves. They're going for this final wound though. Tons of damage already going I think out. They're gonna get it. There is oh no way goodness. the damage is all over the place. And yeah, that is an easy take from Gimmick. Which is sad because this is the map that Nightmares chose. This was the map that Nightmares drafted. They wanted I... to play here and they still lost. I honestly think Nightmarish needs to try and drop the trip and they need to change their idea. They need to change what their plan is. I um, couldn't agree more. Look at the stats. Look at the assists on uh, Gimmick's team. They're all above 15. <laughs> but if you look at Nightmarish, none of them got above. They're not playing as a unit together. Yeah. We're getting back into this draft. We have officially locked in the Margrave and Beckett as the bands. Interesting. So I'm... I'm not surprised here that they I'm, I'm yeah yeah i'm more surprised that nightmarish is not banning woo unless they plan on playing woo themselves which is possible mm -hmm, that's true but woo is very very strong on this map just because uh his ability just to pull there are so many ledges that can lead to a large uh lead of cliff potential and well I mean, I kind of expect both teams to have it, honestly. Hovering over Nanamani right now. And it's locked in. They lock in the Amani. They're on Heaven's Ward. Hmm. Heaven's Ward is not my favorite Amani map, I gotta say. It's not my favorite map, full stop. But <laughs> I think... Okay, okay, fair. I think um, Amani could be okay. I, hmm. Amani, Amani is fine on this map. I just think there's not, like, there are, like, open sight lines every, every now and then, but it really depends on where you end up playing. Because if you're going to, if you're going to constantly fight for D, like, that's such a narrow corridor. And like there are yeah. there are sightlines that go map to map, but like there's really only so much you can actually see, especially if the enemy teams are playing properly. We got Gimmick a rolling logging in. Right okay, now. that is Lucky Tiger. I guarantee it. He is a rolling player. Or Paco? Oh, taking out the Paco. They might end up taking both. Remember, we have two picks here. Oh, oh no, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Still hovering over the Paco here. I I don't mind Paco at all on this map. Um, uh, I love Paco. Paco's really good. I mean, he's just a really good character. Just the amount of CC that he provides, AOE slowdowns and lockdown. It's just, you know, a good Paco player really makes the game play super well. And even if he's, you know, even if he's just like a solo or secondary frontliner, I still think that he actually performs super well. Like, not quite as well as the other two tanks, but, you know, he can hold his own. Mm -hmm. 100%. Not quite. I'm interested to see what they go with next, then. Yeah, not quite locked in yet. Still being hovered, but we'll see if that changes. I can't imagine. So you've got a team at and a Paco. Team at, hmm. a, team at I'm not surprised by, you know. No, I'm not. Absolutely not. I, um, they lock in. I don't. Yeah, I don't really need to hash again of how my opinion on Team Ad. Everyone knows by this point. <laughs> so uh, seeing her is not at all a shocker. And I mean, there's just there's a lot of there's a lot of space in this map. Even even like the close quarters ones where the rockets don't exactly home in super well. Like if someone's right in front of you. But like still, yeah, just, yeah. it's just like she can make so much space. There are plenty of corners that she can cut around to escape with her jetpack. Nightmarish uh, 
currently mirroring the Paku Hover right now. And going for that signature trip, it seems. They're going for trip. Oh, please don't. I, I, I've said I think this is a mistake. It's a mistake. Okay. They right, Just let them go. They believe in the let trip. Them. They want to see it happen. I... Hmm. I think this is what this is an instance where they have a player who's just adamant to play trip. Yeah. Um, it's uh. I. I don't know. I I. I don't really think. I mean, you know, just <laughs> I'm losing my words. I can't even think properly. I don't like the trip pick here. It just it, it has to be someone who can really play trip and they just want to play her it's but there's mm -hmm. there's no one really that she wants to go for right now and that means that gimmick is free to basically not pick anyone that trip wants to prioritize you know she, she can attack roland if she wants to uh but roland oh are you tricking me again banjax no. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ramsey makes a little more sense. Yeah. Chips mm. one of Chips harder counters. The the I Ramsey. I would say her biggest counter is is Ramsey. Yeah. Or is Andorra? Oh my god. No way, bro. Banjax. There's, I, you are trolling. There's so many things going on right now. There's no way they're locking the zombie. Although gimmick right now have being ahead by one, they can afford technically to lose in this best of three, but I figure that they would want to just kind of end it. Yeah, end it while they're say. while they're ahead, because it's uh being in the losers bracket. This is going to be uh just the knockout for either team. If you lose uh if you lose the series, you are completely out of the tournament. So we'll see. Just kind of like the last, yes, yeah, it's the last. This could potentially be Nightmares' last game in this um, in this tournament, which is they kind of they kind of have to play their best here in order to uh, in order to stay uh, remain in the tournament. They've, and they've locked it. What? They've locked. Huh? They've locked in the Roland and the Zintora. <laughs> what is this? I expect Gimmick to kind of pick maybe a Taito or a Wu here. Uh, perhaps having that triad of, of those three kind of melee that want to take advantage of Zandora's uh, auras, and then just having the constant support from the team at and the Roland. And uh, I've seen it, I've seen it before um, across a few streams. I think I saw it during one of the past broadcasts. There's a really neat combination, <laughs> and by neat I mean busted combination of the Paco focus and the rolling focus working together. Oh yeah. And just oh my doing God. so much damage. You can deal like 2000 damage with that it's, in like a single burst. It's, it's crazy. It's really, really nuts. And I do not like it. Uh, we've got a woo hover right now. I, I saw this happening, uh, kind of expected. I didn't think it would be this late in the draft, to be honest, just cause Wu is a very strong character. He synergizes pretty well with Paco, with like the, the CC potential. And if they both work together, kind of locking down one person, that's basically free firing for Imani. Wu also transitions well into Clash, just because of all the ledges, as said earlier. And, uh, well, we're not seeing a double Imani. I know that that's not the case. <laughs> Might have been a misclick, but it's okay. <laughs> not quite what we're expecting. What is the? I assure you, it was their misclick, not mine. Just saying, <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> Why not five spends exactly? Um, and an Oru possibly. Yes, locking what in that. What is orb. this? Oh no! I don't know how I feel about this. He is. Uh, oh, no. He is not happy. Gimmick, hovering Griselma, maybe. Zend what? Zendora oh, Griselma. No. They're just playing. They want to play around, and they they want to they want to see what they can do with some with some funny business if they lock in. There is no way. Wow, <laughs> what is this? You're given a, you guys are given North Stars of Mannerisms right now with these picks. I don't know. I can kind no of see it. Way. Okay, Amani is probably the most likely here. The, it's K. We're just going across the board. Okay. Okay, a little bit better than. A Griselma. So it's probably the Ooh. probably the ruse 
Uh, probably Lola Roos picking down that Imani. Oh, yeah, 100%. Very strong Imani player. Oh, We're going okay. in. We're doing it. It's on Picaro Bay. We've done it, guys. We won. We are so back. How did you get spectator? Whatever. We're here, guys. It's on Picaro Don't Bay. It's not Heaven's Work. This guy's hacking. <laughs> He's hacking the game. All right. So, Gimmick is... Uh... Gimmick, I think I, sh I have to change the names i believe gimmick is on the vager side and nightmare should be on orion side guys it's happening we're this here is. okay this is okay yeah they're back they're back they're back okay so which team is uh which team's which yeah observer could we like rotate quickly through the cast so i know actually who is who or just show the you can just show the, the scoreboard as well. Okay, yeah. So it is Nightmares getting a push. 100 to 60. Oh, they did it! Yes! They're getting a push. Signs of life. It was Picaro we needed all along. Ruse is going to go down here potentially from the trip. He's he low. doesn't have his cooldowns, though. All he has is RMV. Trip has no stamina, though. No HP. And I think the Zandora takes Zandora? What the bronze? No, this are, these are the same teams. It should still be the same team compositions. It's been so long, we can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an hour. <laughs> but this first wound will go down no problem. Imani Focus, of course, doing tons of damage. But now the question is, can they get out? Good use of the smoke bomb, delaying, getting your uh, your stamina back. But now this Paco just wanting to kind of recover trilogy's low here um can ruse get him though oh ruse but finds a shot he's gonna find another he's one he's got no way out <laughs> it's just a matter of time where was his team his team didn't come to help him i think he's just lucky tiger gets a kill on jinx he's stuck in the wrong corner wrong place wrong time yeah and then they're already up though yeah they're behind by 30 but they still have control of both midpoints so uh so long as that power rotation comes through there should still be plenty of time to catch up it would put them and 10 this ahead is the point. This is the point of Bakaru where it becomes difficult. Once a team has both points, it's really easy to just defend both of them. Unless the creature does that. Yeah, unless the creature just takes a ton of damage and, and Nightmarish is Wolf trying to answer down, back however. right now. Wu the moving team in. Well. He wants to pull in, misses tongue. the tongue. He's too down. far. That was and that that's... was a little ambitious. He was quite low. Mm. I think it's just the hunger for him to get a little bit of an advantage. They're resummoning. Uh, now putting a Cerberus on, still behind, but it will make actually even if both points of these points capture. They just have to survive long enough. Paco's super, super low. He needs to get out of line of sight. They're chasing him. The they got it. The comes out, and it's a oh, 50 power difference there. Yeah, that'll Going be... Going to gimmick. That'll be a big power differential for uh, Nightmarish. They do find one kill and get 10, and this will still be a pretty heavy impact made by Gren. But the question is, are they actually going to go for it? Because they're, they they're still not really able to, like, get this. She is vulnerable, but they're not moving in. I think they're opting to try to hold C, if at all possible. Let's jump back to C if we can, observers. And, yeah, it looks like they want to summon here. And now we have a neutral point on both sides. So the, the, uh, the, uh, lay run will break free. And now, Gimmick has control of C and are pushing to fight D right now. Looks like they're going to go D? Interesting. You know, I honestly think C is the point you want yes. um, to have on Bakaru's. I agree. But if they're not going to protect this Cerberus, it's a free 10 power. Imani doing what she can, playing a lot of oppressive fire, but right now this team at is super low. Lucky Tiger might go down and it's 10-10 balanced out. But Imani focus comes out as well. Gimmick is coming out really low. Nightmarish finding a little bit of kills here, actually. Zandora goes down, and Nightmarish are 20 up. Yep. Gimmick stayed a little bit too long getting that control on D point. They probably should have just take the creature and then left. Uh, they killed it super fast, but then they just decided to stay for whatever reason. Um, and now they're in a bad, you know, now they're in a bad position to defend C. I'm actually a little surprised Nightmarish isn't going for, you know, hitting C at this point. Okay, now they're doing it. And this will go down super fast. They are here to answer, so maybe they'll find some kills here. Zandora going in onto Paco right now. 
Paco taking a bit of the heat. Nice snowball to get out of range. Paco has to get out. He's got no HP. The Paco might go down here. Sniping Ooh. almost hit. Oh, One health in a dream. Oru now in danger. <laughs> Mani, or, uh, sorry, Z uh, Zendora here doing a little bit of damage with their strikes. He's forced to focus, but they still get the push. Just to, just to make sure that he actually stays alive. They want to get healthy. Wu escaping. Trip trying to find a little kill here. But again, that's nightmarish getting those pushes. Yeah. This nightmare seems to have a little sign of life. They must have found some sort of answer. Maybe had a little bit of pe uh, pep talk between each other while, while we've been stalling. But uh, they are not in any position to go for the second wound. It's a little too dangerous. Lord Smoke getting very low. That was the Margrave from earlier, and he switched to the Paco, which is... For this map, I actually think Paco can be better than a Margrave sometimes. Yep. Nice recovery. Nightmare is still ahead right now. Uh, still holding on to three wounds. Uh, gimmick down to two and a half. Reposition here in the middle. They're posturing to move forward to go and defend that. Yeah, Lucky Tiger's going to head in now. A lot of moving Uses forward here just to kind of reposition, perhaps wanting to find a little push here. Not finding anything. Meanwhile, Zandora still making these incredible engages, trying to fight and protect uh, against the two assassins. She's fighting the ghost of Christmas past, bro. What is, what is this? Good job keeping applying. Oh, she got the, oh my. Constant damage being dealt to uh, the Nightmarish team right now. Sometimes it just seems like both teams are staying a little too long in these fights. Like, Wu wants to go for this, but look how low he is, and he just dies. He could have very easily just retreated. They're overstanding their welcome a little bit longer than, than, than they need be. Yeah, it's a constant back and forth, just teams trading blow for blow. But, uh... To money? Ooh. Very, very low. This one there. Yep, just using the cover. Very smart. Getting out of combat as quick as possible. Now pressuring See, onto the ship the again. Creature? Nice use of the Zandora focus to stay alive. They do kill the creature. Actually, it's Creature's still alive. Go nope, there it goes. There we go. Overall, still finding one for one. Still ahead for gimmick right now. Nightmare's finding another kill. Zandora might gimmick fall here. Healthy. Oh, she misses. Oh, she doesn't need kick. She didn't oh, get the kick. The yeah, dead. but she's absolutely dead. Now, even. If they can prevent them from summoning uh, D here, that means that they're going to be... Oh, Lucky Tiger might go down. He does indeed. And they... No, but... Oh. We've got a summon here. They, summon, they can't, they can't get back there in time. Actually, they're just they're not even summoning. They're just manually capturing. Mm -hmm. So gimmick or nightmares find yet again another push. This is this is way different than what we saw before. Gimmick's a gimmick's draft of having kind of these skirmish heavy characters. They're not working in their favor. The draft they put forward is actually interesting. They changed up a little bit of stuff. I mean, they kept the trip, but looks to be working in their favor against gimmick yeah i do think that this is not quite i, I agree it's not quite the same draft that we saw before uh, but again i can't really remember it felt like it was a year ago <laughs> finding the second womb confirming early kill for gimmick gimmick find a kill in the backside maybe possibly another kill here if Wu gets does not escape that wall will open up but he's super low nice shots from ruse on the imani he is very low, and finally he nice will go down. Nice shot around the corner. Just, and that's 20 power up. Yep. Just out of stamina. Ruse can keep up the uh, the advance. Big brawl happening here in the middle point of the point. Paco Focus stopping him in his place. Paco falls. Now Gimmick is ahead by 30. And the first power rotation hasn't even captured yet. A lot of pressure is happening. Fighting yet again another kill. To zero. It's got about to be sixty to sixty to twenty. 20 indeed. Yeah, and right now, uh, I mean, they're not even going for the C point. They're saying, okay, gimmick, you can keep hold uh, to the or sorry, <laughs> yeah, gimmick can keep a hold of that. They're just going for this back point. Huge amounts of damage. The creature's low, already they, dead. They should kill this creature. Vrolin focus comes out there. Sandy focus as well. It's two good focuses out already. Now ahead by sixty. They get that and now E collects. If they don't go and stop E, that's gonna be a. 120 power and that's pretty much a free wound yeah they have they have no ability like nightmares completely now on the back foot here just lost full control of of the c uh, of the c point i mean gimmick had c for a little while now but they just couldn't 
regain control of it. They couldn't kill it, and then they just took that advantage. Now, I, I do agree that uh, there could be a little bit more done here. It's an auto wound. They're probably prepping D to take a bit of damage. Mm -hmm. I think Gimmick right now has to take D, because if they take D, they have the more they have more range pressure, and I think they can control both points comfortably. Yeah, good job to make sure that the creature stalled. Once again, this pot goes super low and need to escape. Slither of HP. Yep, he is, he's on death store every single time. We jump back <laughs> into the fight. Amani taking a little bit of pressure. Good jump getting her to safety. But uh, Gimmick have full control of this middle of uh, ground right now. The um, frost spots on Amani is actually kind of interesting for this map. I didn't expect to see uh, frost. I'm still not entirely sure who actually have the frost bolts. I think it's Gimmick's it's, side. I think it might. Mm, I don't think it is. I think it's Roots. It's on her Q. We can check. Uh, nope. No, it is. Okay, so it is. Um, it is Nightmarish. Nightmarish sides. Yeah. Who has the frost bolts? I figured Ruse. I figured Ruse would go for the blast bolts. It's a mm -hmm. uh, pretty standard for oh. him. Taking advantage of the. Oh, it was it was Amani finding Zandora there. Gimmick's still ahead by forty though. They need to find, mm -hmm. or a Nightmare seem to find some other source of uh, advance here. But e capturing, it's going to be a very easy push. Hundred to sixty. Taken... It's now that they have control over that midpoint. This is the point where Bakaros becomes a really annoying map. They can't Nightmares can't get Ooh. control over the mid. Just big, like collapse onto Wu there, just completely knocking him out. Melted him. They're trying to find they a little bit of answer. D. Yeah. I think uh, the, they haven't went for wounds um, as much as I thought they would. I think they're trying to just preserve their mid control uh, at this point. Yeah. This is playing kind of like what we might expect from a, from a Ghost Reef game, where it's just going to be the Guardians doing impact damage, and then they're just going to play it slow until they can confirm almost 100% that it's going to be a free final wound. Lots of damage happening on both sides. Lucky Tiger's very low. That could be an easy kill. Oh, no. Wu's trying to find these kills. They, he can't the commit. Ori might be... Oh, wait. The Ori might be finished here? No. The Wu's back in. Uh, third HP and gets taken down. Big focus going out of Amani. Doesn't get shot down, but the Wu ends up dying. So now Gimmick is ahead by 10. They're doing their best to... Or Nightmares is doing their best to open up this uh, D point and fire at it. Look how low this aura is, though. The shock does not barely kill him. Very close. They, I think what Nightmares need to do now is what I've said from, from the start. They need to group up and coordinate with themselves properly. They're all doing different things at the wrong times. They need to do the same thing as a team. Wait, why did he try to summon? Just take what? the kill. Just that take the runs. kill and leave. This was uh, This was not the right choice at the wrong time. I mean, they've turned it into a 40-40 matchup. Yeah. And oh, Nightmares finds another it kill. But it's just trading blow for blow, staying constantly in the middle without this any is real the closest, control. It's the closest round we've had. Will the Amani win this against the team? She does. She does. The problem is that... I, the problem is that uh, Nightmares have no control of mid still right now. They're still just fighting just to control it. And C will capture... Low. C will Lucky capture and get push. Low. 100%. And he missed his focus and he hits the Zande instead. He's still going no way, for just... it. No, he uses his No, okay, well, this is where you turn around. He's in. And they get it. They stalled. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Iruza. Can they get the 100? Yeah, they have to go for a little bit of a defense here. I don't think it'll do as much as the visual is saying. But, uh, I mean... Nightmares could go for a little bit of damage here. I think they're going to opt to, like you said, to try to control D, if at all possible. Or, or middle, not not just D. C and D. Yeah, they're just going to... Infernal on D? What? Uh, not my favorite choice, but it's <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. If it's all you have, might as well. And yeah, just... Like they're, yeah, they're just going to... Are they going to save it, though? Yeah, I, I imagine that they would... Oh, they didn't. No, they didn't. A little no, too late. Oh, they don't know. They didn't know to save that. Unfortunately, that could have been ten power up for them. Or is using the focus to escape. But it looks like they're just gonna push in and get him. Yeah, they're definitely yeah. gonna get him out of this. Zandora and Paco, there's literally no escape for you. See what Our... I mean? They're, they're actually gimmicks. Actually, being smart, they're getting the character that can pale 
is their um their team out of fights early and then following up like they got the pack away and then the ori had nothing to help him uh no one to help him escape they re control summon on c and going for this infernal this will put them up by again by another 10. full rotation ahead now with control of one of the midpoints nightmarish going in doing a bit of damage over here they're all grouped together Big Imani focus coming through. I think that hit at least two people with the first shot, but did not confirm any kills. I think the Woo might be, yeah, the Woo's in a bad position. He gets out, however, and they're gonna, um, they're actually gonna summon D here. Yep. They're just trying to hold middle, so long as they have one on each side, but it seems like Nightmarish is not really able to hold the middle point. Like, it dies every single time, and yet I say that they still somehow are getting pushes. Paco using a defensive up. focus here. 30 up now. If I can get that trip, that's going to be a 90 to 60 bar. The which could be the difference. Yeah, the creature is dead, so they'll have to resummon or manually capture, but it will give them the push if so long as no one dies. Instead, they're just going to get kills. They're not even going to summon. They just get it. This will be an auto wound. Very, yeah, it's very likely an auto. Oh, 100% an auto wound. 60 100 post clash. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. And they're just going to go and move over and prep D. Are they gonna save it? I don't think nope. so. I think okay. they're just I think they're just willing to let a nightmarish lose more and more creatures. It's not auto wound! What is this? Oh my goodness. There's yeah. no way. I think after clash is when it gets kinda of funky. A little bit it seems. I thought for sure that sixty was enough or not enough of a shield. It was already like Weird. below half and it's the second wound. I... That's actually bad for gimmick. That could have put them near neck and neck, but now they're like that's uh, max they have to do another rampage before they have a chance of ending the game yeah but the good news is that even if they get a hundred shield it's going to be auto wood no matter what because that's a very small sliver yeah. they've got that 10 power early which is really huge for them they just need to maximize look they've got d con they've got c control they sort of have control over um d point they just need to make sure all they're going to summon oh no as we rejoin the fray Lots of pressure. Nightmarish is trying to find these kills. And they're getting peppered really hard again by the Imani kill Wolfstar shot. Wolfstar is so low. I think well, the Paco's going to go for Wolfstar. They are. The Paco's in deep. And he's got to get out of there. Both Paco's leave. Yep. Just, just going over there. Now they've now they're taking advantage of the low health bars of Nightmarish and or sorry of gimmick and just taking that C point. And I do think that they're now learning. They're opting to not summon anymore, if at all possible. But that does leave it open for the enemy to summon. I would have liked if they just kind of kept the pressure there and, and maybe forced them to not summon, if at all possible. Nightmares now ahead by 10. The trips is every each other. Nice kick by trip, but oh, she got immediately collapsed on. Where is that trip? She somehow didn't die, but they're chasing oh, her, I think. Oh, my God. The wall. No, wait, Comes in clutch. Going. Oh my god, they're fighting in this area right now, near the Guardian. That's an easy escape back uh, back for Nightmarish. Like how wanna kill the creature? Like how far gimmick is in here, and Nightmarish are not answering. Finally they come just in. need to live and get a kill. They can kill the Paco. If they kill that Paco, they win. And they win. That's 100, but that's not enough to save the auto. Yeah, that is 100% an auto wound, even with the 100 shield, like I said. It should be at least. If it's not, then I I retire. <laughs> I retire as a caster if this is not an auto wound. I hundred percent I'm telling you now. My 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 career is on the line here. Do we see it? Yes, Yay! it's auto. Alrighty. I am safe another day. <laughs> <laughs> Gimmick now in full control yet again of both middle points. And look again, they're just gonna get 10 power up at the start of the game. Can both start get out though? That's the thing. Once they get that 10 power up, they need to maintain it. Big Paco focus the getting Paco two focus. here. Ruse is in trouble. I don't think he has his escape. He's just using his stamina. Do the cards get enough? The Death Dealer does this not could land. Be a full team wipe. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is. Oh no. They're getting him. Gimmick's in trouble here. Oh, they found it. Oh my goodness. Zandora? Zandora, like with the clutch self survival, I don't know what in the world Incredible. this Zandora is doing, but she is living. 
And now Nightmare's just gonna get 20 power up. I think Gimmick is gonna do what they're gonna do again. They might go for B. Yep. Gimmick somehow kind of staying about as best as they can, considering the the very, <laughs> very uh, far like drawbacks of that fight, that encounter. Definitely in, Gim uh, in Nightmare's low. favor. Chip stealthing. Is, is she bleeding? Uh, she's no, dead. she's dead. She died. I think Lucky the Tiger picking a kill up there with Roland. This is a Roland abuser, boundless user. <laughs> Ban this user. I'm 80 80 now. <laughs> 90. Oh, they're ahead slightly. Nightmare is slightly ahead. And they tap. Whoa, the double kill. The oh two kills. Goodness. Good kills confirmed. Nightmarish now only having one person, and that person's really low, but he does live long enough to get the respawn timers. Now the question is... Will they go for it? I don't think they will. I think they want to play this slow and steady. Gimmick knows that they... <laughs> these these players want to end this series as soon as possible. Nightmarish, Nightmarish want to win, but that means we would have to go to a game three. <laughs> So I think Gimmick is going to take it slow and steady and not go at all until they confirm for sure that they can finish it. Now going for the Adult Obelisk, I do think that this is pretty smart. Even if they spend resources to kill it, it's not worth anything. And it just kind I mean, of... This is just giving... This is just going to end up giving um, Nightmarish a little bit of focus gain as well. Yeah. Um, Just from killing the Ob. Yep. And spend some resources and time just to... Uh, knock it down but it didn't last quite as long as i thought it would paco in a lot of trouble and woo as well Woo is low as well can he get sniped he i think is around the corner i think he's, he's okay the, the shots are still coming through watch out there we zoom zoom back over into the map nightmare is now forced back into their own base big kill it has it's or a stun clutch stun oh but not quite my enough goodness i think jinx might be finished no they aren't he misses focus he did not hit. Now the power is even. But Gimmick and still. Look at this. Gimmick has both points in mid. Yeah, Gimmick still has full control of the middle right now, despite everything. Nightmarish finds these points of of you know, getting these, getting these heavy attacks and skirmishes, and they force Gimmick to back away. But they can never control the middle points. In the end, they're still losing these middle rotations. Big focus happening. I'm not sure what that Paco focus was trying to hit. Maybe perhaps just <laughs> getting a little shielding. I think it was the invisible trip. Oh, perhaps. Nightmare is fighting up. two kills. What is going on with Gimmick right point. now? They don't have a midpoint, so if C collects, they're just going to tie it up. Well, no, they're not. They're going to be 10 par down. They need to get out there. They need to stay to safe. The Nobody's helping the Zandora. Zandora is the low. Zandora this will be by. a push. Gimmick and that might be game over. Gimmick can finish this here and now. That impact damage might do a little less than what's displayed, but it'll still be pretty heavy. The question is, do nightmares risk it? Do they have do the ability to siege? I feel like I feel like they might go for this. They're in like position. They They're very They're forward. In position. Will they get stopped? Bro. Gren is down. They're going, for it. They're going in. They're moving through the alleyways right down the middle. They're coming right through. Damage is happening. Paco on top. Imani Imani's jumps down. Imani's getting Why did she down? jump down? They, the they killed her. That shield. Five seconds left. They got shield again. That's a Why is the shield so big? And uh, they don't end. They oh don't my end. Goodness. Why did Imani jump down from the jump rooftop? Down. They would have won. They absolutely would have won if Imani stayed on the roof. Maybe she doesn't. Oh, maybe no. she didn't know. Maybe she didn't know she can hit from up there. That oh, no. That, that is, is very sad. That was. I think they could have ended that. That was definitely Nightmarish's game if they had just stayed on the roof. Oh, that's really upsetting. And now Gimmick find a they find a kill on the back foot when the Nightmarish wants to try to escape. A very, Gimmick very good defense. Control. Gimmick is a guaranteed 30 power up right now. If um because they have C point. Yep, they did find a return kill, so now it's in uh now it's even. And I I don't think that either team really needs to commit hard for kills right now. I think they really need to try to stay in the center and just let the power collect itself, especially gimmick. And that's why Nightmarish is so easily punished. Well, if you look at where Gimmick's positioning, they're positioning around C to try and bait them into coming in. Because they'll have that creature there. We're trying to find Roland here on the back foot. Not Roland's able to. Roland's staying alive, amazingly. Yeah. 
He's got the support of his team. Wu can't commit to that. And they actually end up getting two kills. Or, or Gimmick end up getting two kills in the middle of that whole skirmish. Now, if Gimmick collects C and gets one more kill, that is push and definitely going to be game for them. Or will we see another insane defense happen? I mean, the only way they could mess this up is that if if Nightmares are just able to get D and kill C, yeah, the other way around. You know, it's going to be difficult for them. They're summoning D. Okay. They need to interrupt C, though. Somebody has to interrupt it. And nobody's there. It didn't quite get there, but now they've got to get... Now they've got to somehow get three kills without anybody dying. And the Wu's about to fall. The Wu falls, and that... That might be game. It might I be think game. that might be game. I feel like Gimmick are going to have the balls to go for it. 70 is a big shield, but we'll see if they actually commit to it. They're not... Oh, they no, they are positioning. They're getting on the rooftops. Gren slithering through, moving down to Pen, layering down. And here they come, they're going in. And look at them all brawling, and I think that is game. Not quite yet. A lot of damage is still it's happening. Close. A shield gets applied. There's A 10 nice seconds shield. Left. They got another shield. There's so many oh, shield happening. Falling. Lots of damage. They're Five falling. seconds left. They're all I'm dead. They're all dead. Oh my god. What is happening? What is this game? Bro, Nightmares is surprising me here. And they're gonna kill C. Oh my goodness. And that's them turn power up. Yep. Nightmares can now just kind of stay in their on their side of the field if they have to. Gimmick, do find a kill. Okay, we're back to even now. So it's gonna come down to who holds the mid control. Big focus is happening on either side and finding another kills in these alleyways. Gimmick is so far forward into Nur Nightmare's home base and they can't find any kills here. Wu just needing to use his focus just for defensive purposes. He gets Wu's around the corner. and he's out. Tra Both assassins are low here and they're going B. Uh, Gimmick is going B. Yeah. Just to try and get a little bit more power and they're going to be able to get that. They do get and the there's... kill, but now they got to get out of there. Is he being... Something a Oh, no, they're not. They're he's out. being selfish. He's being greedy. He doesn't have I his escape now, and he's dead. He's dead for it. Double they made it even. And it's tied. No, that team up might have just thrown gimmick the game. They that they stayed so too long. They stayed too long and throw, and now Nightmare is just the one invading. But they're at half health, and they're moving into Alola Roos. Moving Wait, in. No. Where is that? He dies. The boy dies. Oh no. Nightmare didn't okay, need to do anything. Tied. But look at this. Nightmares have both midpoints. They do. Uh, gimmick have to do something right now or it's going to be game over. These two power points are coming up. They have to find kills. They're moving in. They're trying to do a little bit of damage to the bloomer, but they don't need to attack the creatures. They need to attack the players. They're interrupting the creature. Are they going to interrupt C as well? Nightmares find another the kill. kill. If they kill the creature, they manage to get it. Can they kill it quickly? Oh, they, can't, oh my they God. can't do it. Gimmick got it. Gimmick got it. Unless my Gimmick. No, Nightmares got it. Yeah, Nightmares got the hundred. One, the other creature captured. It's a hundred defense. Gimmick, unless Gimmick can kill them before they can get to the wound. I think this might be game over. Only three. Mm, you see, they're not their position to go for it. They need to kill that Imani. They're going in. The boy is in. They need to get a kill to maximize the shield. They're going to be able to kill the. No, it's it. And they lose. Gimmick loses. And Nightmares. Nightmares. It. Are we going to a game three? We're going to game three. And the map is Ghost Reef. And it's one to one right now with Gimmick and Nightmarish. And Gimmick is going to be, uh, Gimmick is going to be on the Orion side and Nightmarish on the Devager side, which means Gimmick get the first ban. Do you think they're gonna get rid of that Amani? Cause that seemed like a nightmare. I feel like Gimmick have to get rid of that Amani. Either that, or I think they, unironically, I think they might actually get rid of the trip. Unir okay, unironically getting the trip. They're logging the Beckett. What? We have seen Beckett ban before. Um, I don't know if they... Maybe they just know somebody on Nightmarish side is a good Beckett player. Um, it is just hovered right now. It's not confirmed locked in, so we're not entirely certain yet. But it does look like it might be Beckett. 
This is a. Uh, this is interesting. I did not see this happening. I could not have seen a Beckett. There, I don't even think there was a Beckett that game. No. So I'm interested in why they've chosen to do, do the Beckett ban. I do think that they banned Beckett in both drafts, or at least one of the drafts of this series so far. Beckett has been banned. So I, I, I just think maybe they know something. Maybe they don't want to fight against Beckett. Someone on Nightmarish might be a really good Beckett, or they just don't want to deal with it. Maybe they just don't have someone who's comfortable answering against her. But I wonder if that's worth it, though. Is it worth banning a character just so you don't have the... Because you, you don't feel comfortable playing against them? Or is it worth banning a character you know that the other team might use? Because um, we, we didn't see a Beckett last game. I think it, it'd be much more viable to them to get rid of the Imani. That's very fair. It's the, the question I really am concerned about, though, is what is the answer, right? Mm-hmm. I, are they are they wanting to have that kind of Amani one v one again? Do you think gimmick are going to just overpass Amani? Because I don't think Nightmares are going to ban Amani after a performance like that. Like that was insane. But do do gimmick? Oh no. do, the stream's dying. Is it? Oh no, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Your voice is. You sound like a robot. Oh, is it the freaking on Jack's hell? What am I supposed to do about it? <laughs> Save him. I don't know. Wolfie, you fuck off and go back again. <laughs> I, it didn't show that a. It didn't show that the stream died. Oh, you're back. Your voice is normal now. Okay. Okay. So just you sound like HK a minute ago. It sounded more like a Murloc. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying is like, what is the what is the answer here? Because I can't imagine Nightmarish is gonna ban Amani. Uh oh. Am I gone again, or did you not hear me? Uh, you said a KHK again. Again? <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I'm so sad. Stream is offline. It is not. Oh no. It is not your liar. All right, I'm gonna refresh it. Oh, it is offline. Okay, I'll stop and restart. Okay. Are we back on? It looks like we're back on. Let me check. I see. <clears throat> I see that we're on. Uh, we are. Okay. So for the third time, and honestly, the question is irrelevant now. I was going to say, do you think that they're going to ban the Imani? My answer was no, because Nightmares probably want to play Imani again after a, a performance like that. So they're going to opt for the T-Map ban. Now Gimmick is picking first. Hovering Gnosis. This is I mean, they banned the ranged, which they ran too strong ranged, which is honestly a fair play. If they're playing on Reef, I oh, mm, the team has actually a good show rather than a money on Reef. Yeah. I don't. I. I mean, again, I don't think Nightmares want to ban a money after that performance. They want to pick her. <laughs> they want. <laughs> they want to roll that back. <laughs> Locking the in Margaret the Margrave. Pick early. Okay, I would be very shocked if I didn't see a woo. Uh, this time around, I think Wu is definitely necessary on Reef. Yeah, Nightmarish are, have shown to be very comfortable on Wu. I believe it's been in every game that they've played so far, um, whether it's performed well or not. Um, I'm not surprised by a Margrave early pick. We have seen it. We have seen Margrave priority in, in the other tournaments. Um, and yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty common situation. Now let's see what Nightmarish will do. I mean, <laughs> even if I mean even if Gimmick goes full counter against an Imani, like you gotta just pick her. Hovering over Oru right now. I don't mind Oru. Um, Oru has Interesting some. Interesting choice. Yeah, Oru has some uh, good potential here, just because the map is so close quarters, so he can. He can keep a good distance and still provide uh, some good damage output from a relative safe spot. Um, and since the ramps and tunnels are very, very narrow, it's very easy to land 
uh, Cosmic Power, even without upgrading it uh, with the Clash Talent. And a Hover is mm -hmm. Woo as well, so you called that one. Not yet confirmed locked in, but I can't really see any alternative right now. I feel like on Reef, you, and they confirm Woo, you always gotta go Woo on Reef. Woo honestly. on Reef is very strong. There's just so many... I, there, there's I so think many it's his best map. Go around. It, yeah, it probably is one of his best maps, for sure, because there's just so many small... Like, there's so many small terrain places that you can hide around. Um, and if you pull someone off of a high ledge, like, that's a lot of commitment for them to get out of there. What the bronze? <laughs> you're so... You're so mad by every hover that they have. <laughs> it's just so funny. What is this? Zenobia, I... Hmm. Oh, what is this? No, I I actually think a Charnock is probably most likely here. Again, with such narrow passageways and ramps. Oh, Banjax, stop it. I don't, this is 100% Banjax. I don't know. I can't really tell anymore. Okay, this looks more like gimmick style with the Zandora. We've seen gimmick do this okay. every game. <laughs> they really seem to make this Zandora shine. Whether they win or lose, it seems like it's a uh, very pivotal to their uh well i think it's just for their namesake it's their gimmick it's their gimmick yeah exactly <laughs> you said it i was just gonna let it speak for itself but there you go um i'll bring a mozu instead so we might see a mozu in zendora yeah that's i i i would not be surprised if that gets locked in the thing is for both of these teams it's their last chance to try and uh try and win and try and advance through the tournament you know if if one of them loses this game they're out yep oh the aura mirror there's no way <laughs> gimmick is hovering Grizoma. i don't believe that i would believe a zandora i would believe a zenobia i do not believe in Grizoma. unless they've got some crazy unless they got some crazy Grizelma uh ghost reef <laughs> like tech here that nobody knows about which is by all means possible um but i'd pick it as like a i'd i'd pick it as like a last pick not right now hovering charnock now mozu and charnock locked in what do you think of that ew <laughs> banjax mute yourself i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Northstar's just hating on everything. It's super late. He's tired. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just fired up. Why do you why why do you not like the Charnock here? Because he's not fun. <laughs> oh boy. He's not I mean Reef is probably one of his better maps, but I feel like if you're gonna go um if you're gonna go arranged on this map, the Beckett is a good shout. Or the Voden even. I just wouldn't pick either of those over a Charnock. I think uh, I think there was possible room for HK here as well, um, but honestly, I probably would have replaced Mozu with that, or maybe saved Mozu for a little bit later, because right now this Mozu could very easily be uh, not quite as impactful, considering that the only projectiles right now that Nightmarish have are some Oru cards, which are, I mean, deflecting them can hurt his damage output for sure, but uh, I'm not like. I don't think in any situation I'm ever like, man, I really wish we had reflected those Oru cards. I mean, the one thing I've noticed from Nightmares is the limited range. They need a strong range. But the thing is, with the choices they've made already, they're kind of lacking. If they go a strong, another strong range, they're just going to have, always going to be lacking something. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, they have a strong range. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> this is what I expected, actually. Maybe not the Paco, but Amani for sure. I mean, even with Frostbolts, doing 110,000 damage. Oh, in damage? It bro? was so insane. I I have not seen an Amani do that much with that build in a very, very long time. That mm -hmm. was that was super great. And and this this Amani on Nightmarish went toe to toe with Ruse. Who's like probably one of the best Imani players of all time, like back in the day. That's that's kind of crazy. Was the was the uh, was that Imani a controller player as well? 
No, Ruse is on on PC for sure. No, the the. Uh, oh, the other one. That's a good question. I don't actually know. Um, no, they were the only one on their team that wasn't on uh, controller. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But also, you need to take that into consideration. That team is almost entirely on controller, and they won. Yeah. Like that is. I think incredible. I think we're sleeping on our Xbox friends, or I gotta be honest with you. I've seen some good <sighs> players. You never know. You just never know. So what is the response here? What does Gimmick need right now? I think that they need possibly... Uh, they're probably going to pick the Zandora. I see that for sure. And then maybe like an assassin. Maybe they'll pick a... <laughs> I say that. They're hovering, uh, hovering order right now. But I would probably... I would probably wager a guess with Zandora and hmm, Zandora and Wu or Zandora mm. and like Ramsey. You know, they've got a front line, some ranged. They need an assassin. And I thought gimmick would have had, you know, actually, you know what they could have right now? Ramsey. You know, Ramsey. I do, I do think that that's a, a good a shout out. But right now, the the Ramsey would provide um, the Ramsey would provide just a lot of constant pressure. Um, he's really hard to lock down. Uh, he's it's very easy for him to get out of snowball explosion range. It's very easy to get him like not get dazed by uh, by Oru. But they're not. They're they're gonna run back the Amani Ditto. It looks like possibly. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It's okay. locked in. Four range in a Margrave and a dream right now for gimmick. This is a this is unlike a gimmick draft we've ever seen. Gimmick have been 100%. like gimmick have been comfortable on three melee with a Zandora being one of those three, and now they're doing four ranged. And uh, Nightmares has been always adamant at running. They were running double assassin a little bit as well, which which we uh, my team actually did in one of the old, older tournaments. Which it's actually cool to see um, teams running double assassin because I felt like that wouldn't have been seen much anymore. Yep. This would be a a very bad Grizelma pick if I'm gonna be honest. They've got the Charnock, bro. The, That's like. I mean, Gris worry as well. Grizelma is. Uh... Grizama was already pretty low on the totem pole, and against this <laughs> against this team, this is uh this is a death sentence for Nightmarish. If they if they if they lock that in, I don't think that'll be the case, but it it is certainly meme worthy. They've they locked, locked it, in. it okay. in. Okay, can we report them? What is happening? What this is? If they pull this off, I swear. Night after all this, if they pull this off. Nightmarish, uh, I don't know. I, I was rooting for you, and now I'm not sure. <laughs> what are these Griselma hands going to do? The I mean, they, bro, two of her biggest counters are on the other team. They've got the Amani. If Amani goes Blast Radius, and if Charnock goes the Meteor on E, which, I don't know. Yeah, which she did. She did go Blast Radius last game. Mm -hmm. And Charnock doesn't even need to go Meteor. It's, it's enough with the splash damage from E and just doing charged fireballs if they're next to each other. But like I was saying, we are not we are unfortunately not going to have any sound uh, until we confirm getting into the actual spectator game just because we don't want to mess with their comms. And we are going to switch these team names. Gimmick is currently ahead with a power push. I might say the first push, uh, first push going towards gimmick side. And boop, 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 boop. I I can't think. All right. Nice spot of uh, Lola Roos getting onto that uh onto that cactus, knowing exactly where the range is, utilizing the quick snipe to get in and out, taking a shot from kill shot, but otherwise getting out. Nice dodge on the Wu Punch, backing up and resetting, doing a little bit of damage on the way out. 
think I'm a little bit behind you on the stream. That's okay. I can refresh stream or you can refresh it. Maybe you'll catch up to me. Mm -hmm. They're currently 10 ahead right now. A lot of peppering damage. She's a little bit low right now. Little reason to be a little bit careful. A little susceptible to the dive possibility. Um, and just let me know at any point if uh, if Banjax actually ends up getting in the game. Yeah, try it, Banjax. I I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> Don't look at me, chat. I'm a fake fan. Anyway, <laughs> Lore is doing very well. Doing uh, Banjax got in. And I stick it in. Yay! Yep. All right. We'll move back to the official broadcast. Thank you for your patience, everybody. This was way faster than the other game, so you know we'll take our we'll take our uh, we'll take our blessings. Gimmicks forty part twenty par done. Sorry. So they're gonna have to look for uh, rotation's gonna be on E and C. So if they can look to play this well, um, they could balance that out. Yep. With capture on both sides, it'll comb down to an 80-60 and then rotate to D, which is the biggest contention point fighting. Lots of low Please damage no. numbers on Nightmarish right now. They need to be more careful. Lolarus is playing this Amani a little bit better than he did on the other one. I I, I was told kind of in the in the in between that Lolarus was facing some pretty high ping. Massive focus from Lucky Tiger. The we might get out though. He does. Ooh. Ooh, Charna Focus coming in. The Granny might go down. And so might, the, so might the Woo. Oh, the Woo is 1 HP. Oh, I that, think he might live. He does indeed live. It was a big Charnock Focus that turned that around. Nightmare is still slightly ahead. Uh, gimmick either need to find two kills without dying uh, and grabbing D. Or, or sorry, find two kills without dying or grab D without dying. Or delay long enough to interrupt so that D can get or C can capture. Charnock just peppering some damage. It looks like there's some fighting happening over on the left side ramp. Margrave going in. He's very low, though. He's getting focused by the Wu. And he does end up dying. Gimmick find the kills, though. Diving a little too far, Nightmarish. And getting punished That's for That's incredible. It. They turned that around. It's really well played from Gimmick. As we reset here, we're kind of seeing what is going on here. Nightmare is still on the back foot despite being defending. Nice shots from the Mani shooting out, doing a little bit of damage. And they can't actually commit to this. They're getting poked out. They're, they're just going to back up and, and take it. Good defense from Gimmick right now. Or from Nightmarish right now. Yeah, it is. They're playing this very well. They're playing it. Oh, the granny. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems to be uh It's it seems to be a, a kind of a surprise to everybody here. Doing some damage over beam here. Zandi? Not beam Zandi. Beam Grizzelma. Grizzelma. Oh, my oh my god. It's a uh, it's a whole new world for everybody here. But Gimmick, uh, or Nightmare is pushing a little too far. Unfortunately, finding two deaths if they're trying to siege C there. It's not good for them. They're going to have to... They're, they're playing into what happened last time with Bakaros. Once Gimmick gets a, a small lead of like 10 or 20 power, they're really good at pre preventing uh, Nightmare from getting any power uh, against them. Yeah, but right now, uh, they're more than happy just to sit back and wait for the rotations to go through. Oh, the focus misses from Lucky Tiger. Hacker Focus is going to come in. The Wu is low, however. So if someone can pick up a kill on the Wu, the Wu is low and the Wu will go down. We just get out, but Margaret is staying over a little too long. Has to leap to fully out, get out of there. And 50 power difference, and it's going to come down. Being ever collecting, it will be a 90 to 40 situation with a kill popping off. So that's going to be 100 to 40. Almost an auto wound, according to the graphic here. Uh, not f yeah. Maybe doing a little bit less uh, really depends because this is the second wound and it is only a 40 shield. So I think it's probably about accurate. But either way, Gimmick will need to move in if they want to actually confirm this. 100%. Lover's getting on his little sniper perch on the on the uh, cactus. The AoE damage from the Charnock E is enough. 
And uh, Gren seems to have disappeared on us. <laughs> Invisigren. It's our favorite Invisigren. It's just the spectator bug. I'm sure they can still see Gren. Mm. All right, Vanjax. I know it's late, but lock it in. We're almost done. Gimmick finding two kills somehow on the way out. Again, that's what they keep doing every game. They're getting a little bit of power and they're preserving their lead, which is which is really good from them. Finding even two more kills, actually. Now they're ahead by 40. 40. To zero. The first oh, this rotation. Be a this might be a this might be unfortunate. No. This this seems 50 to zero. Oh no. This is unfortunately looking like it's gonna be a wash for Nightmarish. The Grizelma has not helped them so far and gimmick is ready to move on it's been a long day for us it's been a long day for them they just want to and they just want to finish this out nice teleport to get out away from Wu, but overall that mesh's options are so limited right now they have very few things they can do to close this gap and right now b's just gonna collect for gimmick and that's just gonna be game that's just 100 percent game they're even going to a just there it is yep this will do about half according to the map. I'm not sure if they want to fully commit on this. It does seem like Nightmarish is uh, pulling off some pretty wicked defenses. And chasing Imani away. That's really, really smart. That is a majority of... Or no, sorry. That's that's Gimmick's Imani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Gimmick's Imani is chasing away Nightmare's Imani. And they are going to go for this. They are the indeed. The Chog is up front. Gren is nowhere to be seen. Invisigren is... It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Because he's gone now anyways. They're they're killing no. him. It's only Mozu. They can't finish it. They turn it around. Bro, look at that shield. That was a lot. There were a lot of deaths that just happened there. I thought for sure that Gimmick could finish that out. But uh, Nightmare is fine that defense. they're going for C point? Clearing out D, possibly clearing out C, and they just need to leave. Anytime I watch Nightmarish, they pull something out. This is the comeback right now. Trust me. Margrave Dagger misses his B. Margrave wants to go in. He's a little far, doing a focus. Paco needs to leave. He Paco does, might be finished. He does manage to get out for the time being. No, he doesn't. Tiger picks him up. And Margrave takes down the Paco. Yep. But uh, they they do find a kill. Uh, they do find a kill somewhere on the field. So now it's even yet again. And gimmick once again, just kind of with the advance, going to summon another obelisk just for the sake of getting a, uh, just the sake of getting experience. More most likely, it seems like. I don't even know how much of a level difference there is between them. All tiger is way overextended, but he gets out. A little bit. That Wu Tung was a little bit early. Could have used it after Margaret's charge. Now Paco doing the same exact thing, but now Paco's the one that's going to get punished. Wu is also very, very low, and they're going to go for this, it looks like. He might burn to death, and he's down. And that's 10 par up for Gimmick. If they can kill that creature as well, that's going to be them winning the game. Or if they can kill Trilogy? Trilogy a little no, far back forward. Looks like they're going to back out from F. I think they pushed in too hard there, but it doesn't even matter. But if they get C point, that's a, one, that's a win for uh, Gimmick. Yeah, Gimmick needs to regroup and move in. Basically, right now, the point is almost captured. Good interrupt from the Margrave. And that's it. No, that's, that's and it. And that is it. Yeah. That is 100% going to be the game. We, we wanted Nightmarish to perform very well and perhaps make it all the way through bracket, but... Uh, it seems like they were more than happy just to more than happy just to win one game and it's going to be gimmick who are going to move out of the losers bracket here and into they the next well. one. They did very well. I I I do agree. They they but they kind of well done for all of them. They tried their best and you that's all you can do. They did play they played very well.